hey, this is Raul, please act right. Now here's a video of a woman that's admitting that she was arguing and fighting with her husband. And because it didn't turn out the way she wanted it to, she decided to divorce him. Now before we get started, I'd like to give a special thank you to Karen Cooper for her generous support to my channel through Cash App. Please know that you are greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to support my channel too, the links are in the description box below. Now, let's take a listen. 80% of divorces are filed by women, and a lot of men are shocked when it happens. But here's just one of the reasons why. When there's a lot of fighting and anger and bitterness, men feel like their wives are constantly nagging and constantly yelling at them and constantly in a bad mood. But we're trying to be heard and we're trying to let you understand and know we're not happy and this is why we're not happy and these are the changes that we want in our marriage and our future. And then one day we just get silent. We pass you in the hall and smile. We sit down at the table and have dinner with the kids and there's no fighting and you're happy about it. You should be worried when a woman gets quiet. It means we're planning our exit. It means we've given up on trying. That's exactly what I did. I just gave up. It wasn't worth it. It would hurt too much. And so I'm divorced. And I'm the one that filed. All right, and here we go. 80% of divorces are filed by women. And a lot of men are shocked when it happens. But here's just one of the reasons why. When there's a lot of fighting and anger and bitterness. Okay, wait a minute. Who has all the anger and bitterness? Him or you? Men feel like their wives are constantly nagging and constantly yelling at them and constantly in a bad mood. No, he doesn't feel like you're constantly nagging him. You're actually doing it. But we're trying to be heard and we're trying to let you understand and know we're not happy and this is why we're not happy and these are the changes that we want in our marriage and our future. These changes that you want, do they benefit the both of you or just you? Because a lot of times when couples are arguing, it's because one or both are being selfish. Men think logically, but women think emotionally. And she's in this video admitting that she's the one fighting and arguing. And then one day we just get silent. We pass you in the hall and smile. We sit down at the table and have dinner with the kids and there's no fighting and you're happy about it. Uh, yeah, because you finally stopped nagging, yelling at him, and stopped being in a bad mood. He's happy because he finally got some peace in the house. You should be worried when a woman gets quiet. It means we're planning our exit. And trust me when I tell you, the whole time you were fussing and fighting and nagging at him, he was wishing you would leave. He's not worried when you're quiet. He's happy when you're quiet. It means we've given up on trying. That's exactly what I did. I just gave up. It wasn't worth it. It would hurt too much. And so I'm divorced. And I'm the one that filed. Did you notice? She's talking about fighting and arguing, but she left out what they were fighting and arguing about. Is what she was fighting and arguing about? Was she being ridiculous? Especially if you're trying to get your way. When they say communication is the key, Fighting and nagging is not what they mean. She's sitting here and she's admitting all this nagging and fighting that she's doing. Ladies, do you realize that's the worst thing you can do to a man? A lot of times, women are fighting and arguing because she wants her way. And her way only benefits her. It doesn't benefit the man. Let me give you an example. Wife has a four-year-old car and the husband just paid it off. Now it needs new brakes installed. So the husband says he's gonna have the brakes installed, but the wife wants a newer car. Now keep in mind, he just paid this car off. So the money is not freed up for him to pay off some debt. However, she wants a new car. Notice I said, wants a new car, not need. Now, I'm not saying that's what happened between her and her ex-husband, but a lot of times, women are divorcing their husband because she's thinking emotionally and he's thinking logically. I find it extremely convenient that she didn't mention anything about what these fights were about. Also, she didn't mention anything about them going to counseling. If it was a financial issue, did they seek financial counseling? If it was a dispute when it came down to the kids, did they seek counseling for that? Ladies, if you're watching this, this is the woman that leads a pack of other women who listen to her and then end up ruining their marriage because she came on here and she left out all the important facts. Ladies, be careful, I'm warning you, or you'll end up sounding like this after your divorce. I separated from an 18 year marriage in my early 40s, I'm 50 now men that I've dated, they were so undecisive and the games they f***ing play, seriously man, you're in your late 40s, almost 50, don't f*** around, like seriously, don't play games, it's getting so f***ing annoying, I'm so tired of this sh I would have expected it to be easier as I got older. Hey, somebody to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me, 
Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.